Hello Gemini, welcome to another love reading and we're going to be looking at what is going on for you in love at this time, past, present, future energies for you in love and the energies between you and the person that you are connecting with or thinking about at this time. Take what resonates for you, what applies to you. So let's jump right in for Gemini, Spirit, Angels, Guides. What guidance, what messages do you have? For Gemini regarding love. Okay. What messages do you have for Gemini? What messages, please, for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know regarding love? Okay, that's good. In the past energy, we have the Eight of Cups, present energy, the Ace of Swords. Oh, wow. Future energy, the Six of Cups. Beautiful. No complaints so far. <laughs> I say that because um, I'm a Gemini Sun and Venus. So in your uh, energy, I have the Page of Wands with the King of Pentacles. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy and in their energy I have the seven of cups the ace of wands beautiful okay overall energy is the six no the five of pentacles interesting okay so Gemini the five of pentacles is all about feeling a loss of some sort you have a need um a want you know there's something that's missing or something that you are struggling with it could be financially but i'm getting the sense that um gemini has been for the gemini's that i'm reading for you've been wandering for a while that's the energy i'm getting here um like you've literally been on a journey wandering around trying to find something i think it's love i think it's being with a certain person or being with a partner could be even a soulmate that you're thinking about because of the six of cups here but it's almost like a uh, it's like gemini searching gemini is constantly searching for this thing that is missing that's what i'm getting with the five of pentacles that's not really what the card is about but that's what i'm picking up on that so let's put this overall energy on this side here behind that the eight of pentacles interesting effort work maybe you've been distracting yourself with work with projects with hobbies um trying to uh not think about this so much spirit can i get some more insight into the energies for gemini in love can i get some insight please for gemini what are the energies surrounding gemini in love Energies, please. Gemini in love. Wow, true love, Gemini. What is going on? <laughs> there is something going on here. True love. Bottom of the deck is broken silence. Honesty, courage, expression. What guidance, what messages do you have regarding the energies surrounding Gemini in the love spirit? The energy surrounding Gemini in love. Energy surrounding Gemini in love. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Keep an open mind about love, Gemini. Because you are seeking, you are wonder, like wandering, not wondering, but wandering, like a wanderer. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. I think that something's happening for you in love, Gemini. It's like a shift. And I, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm loving this energy because I feel like Geminis have had some sort of difficulty as you can see here with the eight of cups <laughs> in the past energy here there has been some sort of a departure um in the past that i feel you still think about either you walked away from a connection or someone walked away from a, a connection 
with you. Um, and I feel like for some reason, um, Gemini's are still kind of looking for something like this or still trying to find something after this has happened. Um, so let's get some clarity here. Spirit, can we get some clarity for Gemini? I want to start with that Five of Pentacles because that's the overall energy here. And that's kind of like the why, the root of everything that is happening here for you. Oh my God, the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles for Gemini, always. It's like there's something here with like something coming your way that's taken some time. Okay, can I get some insight into this Five of Pentacles? Spirit, why is the Five of Pentacles here for Gemini? Yeah, the Five of Cups. This is you, Gemini. You've experienced some sort of loss. There's sadness, disappointments here when it comes to love or a particular connection. You might be missing someone, have someone in mind already. Or you're missing the idea of someone like you're missing that ideal partner that you've been searching for. They're not here yet. And so there's this emptiness that's just what i'm picking up with this five of pentacles can i get one more please for this five of pentacles why is the five of pentacles here for gemini the moon yeah pisces energy where are they that's what i'm hearing where are they what am i missing there's doubts, there's fears, there's things that maybe you haven't told anybody, or there's just this energy of like silence, right? The moon, things are hidden. Things are hidden underneath the surface. So there's nothing out in the open. Um, there's no clarity. There's a lack of clarity with the moon. So I'm getting that this five of pentacles is kind of like a combination of two factors. Like one is you're missing something. And two, it doesn't help that you don't have clarity for what to expect, what to do. You know, it's like, it's like you're directionless. That's really what I'm getting here, Gemini. At least when it comes to love. It could also be that you just haven't found the right person. Maybe you've just been dating duds. Or being in crappy relationships. Cons I, I'm, I'm just speaking to a Gemini that's been searching for some time. All right, so let's start with this uh, Eight of Cups so we can get some insight into what the heck is going on here for Gemini. The Ace of Swords is in the present, current energy, so information, clarity. Maybe this is the clarity you need or there's communication coming in. The future looks great. Six of Cups, can't complain. So let's first find out what this Eight of Cups, okay? What was that? Wow, the Magician, <laughs> very Gemini energy. But I didn't ask my question. Oh my God, what is my deck is like going crazy. Hang on, Gemini. Let me just get myself together here. Spirit, tell me about this Eight of Cups. I feel like my deck is like frustrated with me right now. It's like, stop talking so much. Nine of Swords and the Hierophant, Taurus energy. So yeah, I feel like there's something that you're still thinking about, Nine of Swords. Whatever happened in the past, whatever departure happened in the past, Whatever, you know, and again, the Eight of Cups is also similar to a wanderer. They have left something behind and are on a journey of discovery. That's the Eight of Cups. They're looking for something that's emotionally satisfying. So anyways, with the Nine of Swords here and the higher font, I'm, I'm wondering, I think there's regrets with this departure or mistakes were made in the past Gemini with a specific person or just maybe your approach to love that you're still thinking about. This is still like something that maybe you're just now coming out of. Sleepless nights, remorse, guilt, anxieties over this departure, over this situation. Now you could be dealing with a Taurus or it could have been that this was a committed relationship or maybe this is just what you're seeking and you don't have. And so it's almost like, where is it? You know, where do I need to go to, to have this? Yeah, the Nine of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and then the Nine of Cups. So the Eight of Cups is that person that's seeking emotional fulfillment, right? Wherever they're at right now is not enough. So they're walking away towards something that could be enough. And that's this Nine of Cups. It's all about emotional satisfaction. 
something being granted to you that's very fulfilling. I feel like this is what you're seeking. You're seeking your Nine of Cups. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Huh. Excuse me. I don't know what's going on today, but like, I want, I felt like I wanted to film. <laughs> this is not like the typical time when I film and I was like, I'm going to film right now because I feel like I'm going to, you know, get some good messages or whatever. And it's been a mess since the beginning. So bear with me, Gemini. Four of Wands. Okay. Four of Wands. And there's the Ace of Swords again. Okay. And the Four of Wands is about stability, a happy home, a happy life. A rite of passage, uh, it's a celebration, domestic bliss, harmony. That's the Four of Wands. It's like maybe there's some sort of clarity or communication that might bring this about. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Okay. I'm getting a message of a rotary phone. You know those old phones that you had to like use as like a circle you know like you would have to like anyways some of you are probably way too young for that but <laughs> i'm picturing someone like using a telephone so you could be talking to someone meeting people discussing things over the phone etc what's this ace of swords about spirit what okay wow eight of wands three of wands yeah i feel like this is what you've been waiting for Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Nine of Wands. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you have been waiting for this Ace of Swords. And it's here. It's it's happening. Something is happening. Something's shifting here with this Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords could be interpreted as a breakthrough. Why say Ace of Swords here? Oh, my ear is popping. Nine of Wands, okay. Yeah, and, and you know, the Nine of Wands was at the bottom of the deck with this Three of Wands. Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck here. Um, okay, it's interesting because what I'm... I don't really feel anybody else's energy here. And the since I've started clarifying, this is more of a you thing. Your personal journey in love, Gemini. Obviously, it involves another person because I asked for their energy. But I feel like to get there... This is so hard to explain. Your personal journey is going to affect what comes towards you in love in the near future. Nine of Wands, you've been through a lot, the wounded soldier, a lot of difficulties, a little bit of a defensive guarded energy, you know, watchful, wary, not easily like trusting others. That was a weird way to say that. Nine of Wands is almost like, you know, I'm willing to participate, but on my terms. <laughs> um, it's very interesting because I'm getting a weird message with this, with this Nine of Wands. It's almost like you're bracing yourself for this Ace of Swords. It's like this Ace of Swords could be a, a phone call that comes like out of the blue or a conversation. Something you read. Something that suddenly comes to you. A message. A spiritual message. etc. It could be so many ways to interpret the Ace of Swords. But I feel like there's something different about it. And so you're kind of bracing yourself for what exactly excuse me, what exactly this Ace of Swords is going to do. Almost like this energy of what exactly are you trying to do here? So if, for example, this could, this is just an example, Gemini. Someone hits you up and you're like, why is this person contacting me? What, what game are they playing? Tell me one more, please, for this Ace of Swords. But it's weird because the Three of Wands, it's like you were waiting for this. But now that it's here, and this could very well be love. Love knocking on your door. And you're like, what are you doing here when this whole time you've been waiting for love? Does that make sense? Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I heard Marshmallow. <laughs> 
It's like Gemini has a tough exterior, but inside, all they want is love. This is such, like, a very, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm getting, like, very, like, philosophical reading. I'm sorry if that's not what you were kind of wanting today, Gemini. That's just the message. If this is love. This is love walking into your life. Like, this is, this, this Ace of Swords is the beginning of something. I feel it's a breakthrough. There's a Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Success, victory, recognition. And the Six of Cups is like what's coming your way. So I definitely feel like there's something shifting here, like I said. Starting with some sort of truth or communication with this Ace of Swords. And this could even be like a realization that someone else has, for example. It doesn't necessarily have to be you, but it's affecting you, if that makes sense. So it could be you having this kind of like aha moment or someone else. Or it could be that you talk to someone and there's instant sparks, right? It could be somebody random that you like start talking to. Um, maybe you're dating people and you suddenly have a conversation with someone and you're like, this is what I've been looking for, but at the same time, you don't trust it. Tell me about the Six of Cups. What's the Six of Cups about here? Why is the Six of Cups here? Oh my gosh, three whole cards. Okay, we have the King of Cups. Beautiful, Cancer Pisces energy again there. Loving person, kind person, compassionate person, emotionally mature. I think a King of Cups, Queen of Cups being here with the Six of Cups <laughs> and the Four of Wands. It's like, this is your person. We also have true love here, you know? Counterparts, Eight of Swords, Fears overthinking over analyzing and temperance sagittarius energy things slowly coming together balance temperance is like tempering your emotions staying steady you know patient moderate so i feel like you know what you know what i'm getting with this energy this person is special and you don't want to mess it up I'm almost picturing a Gemini that's like, okay, we need to put our crazy side locked up in a little vault somewhere and we cannot let the crazy show. <laughs> we need to just get a hold of ourselves. This is kind of what I'm getting here. I'm also getting this energy of, this has been a long time coming. This has been a long time coming, but now that it's here, it's been so long. It's taken so long to get to you you don't know what to do with it, Gemini. Be very careful. Because without... Oh my God, there's a tower at the bottom of the deck. My God. Be very careful, Gemini. Because I feel like if, if you're not steady, if you're not ready, if you're not... If you don't have a handle on this inner fear or struggle that you've been kind of experiencing here, you might fumble the ball you know, <laughs> without meaning to. Uh, keep an open mind. Remember, some Geminis that are listening to this right now, there might be someone you start, you talk to and you're like, they're not my type. And you shut that down fast. And it's like, they walk away from you and you don't even know that that was your soulmate. That's the kind of energy I'm picking up here. Now the tower is at the bottom of the deck with the nine of cups behind it. So I think there's something here and again, I feel like I'm still not feeling this other person. So I don't think it's important who this is. That's kind of what I'm getting. It's like, it doesn't matter who this is. This could be a soulmate, a past life person, a, an ex, someone completely random, someone you've never met in your life. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who it is. What, what matters is how you react to this and what you, de what you decide to do with this connection. Because I feel like something about this connection is unexpected. Shocking. Nine of Cups. And yeah, there's the Four of Cups. Exactly. You don't want to miss this opportunity, Gemini. You don't want to be close to love. I mean, especially if this is something you've been searching for so long, Gemini. Some of you need to get into like therapy stat. Because I would hate for you to miss out on this because you're not ready for it. Ten of Wands, this is you right now. 
Ten of Wands, and the star after that, Aquarius energy, healing, hope, faith. And the Nine of Cups with the star, I instantly think of dreams coming true, a dream becoming reality, right? <laughs> but I really don't want you to be this Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups, remember, is about someone that cannot even see the offer right in front of them. So you don't want to be that person, Gemini. I feel like you would really regret it. I feel like whoever this is, there's something about them that maybe it's like it's not who you're expecting. Uh, that's the energy I'm getting. It's not who you're expecting. So let's jump down, down to your energy. You have the Page of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy and Page of Wands. I feel like this is someone that you might be meeting um, that ticks all the boxes. Um, I feel like you are instantly attracted to this person. Or at least in your mind, your energy is one of like initiative risks, you know, taking a risk, putting yourself out there with the Page of Wands. Why is the Page of Wands here with the Knight of Pentacles? Or not the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. The Star, Aquarius energy, Ten of Wands. So the energy we were just talking about. Yeah. And there's the Fool. I think this is someone new for a lot of you. Um, and then the Empress. Yeah. I think this is someone with a lot of potential, but you don't know it yet. Because somewhere, I feel like when you meet this person, it's like you have to try something new. So, for example, if this is someone that maybe is not your physical type, it's like you have to fight yourself to take a risk on this person. Oh, maybe they don't look exactly how I typically go for, but something about this conversation or this message or this, this person's aura, you know, whatever it is, I really like it. There's something about it that I really like. So it's like you're fighting with yourself a little bit here. Tell me about the Page of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Can I get some more energies, please? Yeah, the uh, Knight of Wands. Again, there, it's like there's a, there's a spark. Sparks fly. Let me tell you. Page of Wands, Knight of Wands. And then Death. Scorpio energy. Changes, transformations. Hmm. I'm getting this energy of like, it's different. There's the Hermit, because Gemini and Virgo, I swear, they just have something that like, but the Hermit, I'm not going to just narrow that down to just like, this is a Virgo. I think that this is just someone that you're really thinking about. You might even dismiss them at first, but you can't stop thinking about them. Three of Swords and the Page of Cups. Okay, so some of you, I feel like, yeah, there's something here where it's like <sighs> disappointment and heartbreak is, is still affecting how you approach love. Because this is someone new. Yeah, there's a Two of Pentacles. It's like you get a Page of Cups and you're this Two of Pentacles. Uh, I don't know what to do about this. I don't know how to react to this. I don't know if this is who I want to be with. I don't know if this is what I'm looking for. Tell me about death. Tell me about death. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I think that there's going to be, yeah, it's like the connection is really strong, but for some reason you don't trust this person. There's justice, Libra energy. And then there's the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like Justice and the Wheel of Fortune, yeah, Justice and the Wheel of Fortune, I feel is telling me like, this is right. This is meant to be. Please ignore my dogs in the background. Henry? But you're seeing a Seven of Swords and you're blocking it. Seven of Wands. This is such a specific reading. Please let me know if this is resonating in the comments, but this is what I'm seeing. I, you know, it's, it's almost like this person shows up Maybe they're really good looking. Maybe they're out of your league. Maybe there's something about them that's just you wondering if they're a player. You're wondering if they're serious or if they just want to play games with you. Let's jump into this other person's energy. Oh my gosh, this reading is going to be long. Tell me about the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Wands. 
tell me about the seven of cups and the ace of wands well the seven of cups is all about choices options wow knight of cups and the magician ace of wands seven of cups so i feel like this person is um you could meet them while dating around while online dating um maybe they're just trying to figure out how to impress you here with the seven of cups ace of wands i think this person is a bit confused by you <laughs> and i'm also picturing that this person might not know exactly what to say maybe they don't know the right thing to say but they want an ace of wands with you again i feel like it's this like wands energy this person is serious the queen of, of pentacles was at the bottom of the deck but I don't think that you're going to notice that at first. But they want to give you their cup. Knight of Cups. Tell me about the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Like They're like, yes, that's what I want. I want Gemini. Gemini is it for me. Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck and the Hangman. And this is you. Uh, I'm not sure. I think this person knows it too. Gemini is out of my league. Like Gemini is never going to go for me right or i talked to gemini and the reaction that i got was not it's not giving me much hope for the future i get one more for the seven of cups and the ace of wands please tell me about this seven of cups and the ace of wands five of wands interesting and the page of cups hmm Five of Wands with the Nine of Pentacles, I instantly think Gemini has a lot of suitors, a lot of options. I am going to have to fight to get to Gemini. I'm going to have to fight to get Gemini's attention. That kind of energy is what I'm picking up here with, with these two cards. I don't think there's, I mean, maybe they understand your hesitation. Maybe this person knows your history, but I feel like more than anything, it's almost like this person's trying to figure themselves out or figure out their approach because they don't want this to be like a failure you know there's something here that i'm not really understanding because i feel like i'm reading for a lot of different gemini's with different histories so there's probably missing pieces here gemini because you know, it's almost like this reading spirit wants it to be more focused on you than the person you're dealing with. So their energy is not like I don't feel it as strong. I feel like I'm being steered back to Gemini has a past, a history. Gemini has something to work through. It could even be issues with this person, but it's not about them more. It's more about how you are healing and dealing with this problem you know whatever this five of cups represents whatever this five of pentacles represents for you can i get some insight into this person's energy towards gemini and then i'm going to take this to the extended i'm going to get a little bit more clarity on this outcome what can you expect in the near future when it comes to love we already got some insight there, but I kind of want to break that down a little bit more. And then I want to look at this person's true intentions. With the Knight of Cups, I'm not really worried, and the Page of Cups showed up as well. But they have the Magician, so clearly they have some sort of goal here. 